everybody, it's Crazy Bango Time. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, we are starting off The Legend of Vox Machina. And if you guys don't know what that is, um, it's something that I've been very, very, very excited for for the past, like, three, four years. Um, so it is part of... It was made off of a Dungeons and Dragons game made by Critical Role. It was their campaign, and now it's been made into an animated series, which is pretty sick. And I'm so proud of the Critical Role team because they've done such an incredible job of, like, you know, sharing so much information about the animation, and it looks so good. And just seeing the journey from where it started to now is just incredible. The fact that it's on Amazon Prime, nobody ever thought it was going to be like this. It's huge, and... It's going to change the game of, I think, Dungeons & Dragons forever because I think it's going to welcome people more into doing Dungeons & Dragons because it's so good. As some of you may know, if you have seen some of the videos I've done and I've spoken about it, I love Dungeons & Dragons. I found Critical Role at a time where it was like, not many people were really into fantasy stuff and I was just like, you know, I love fantasy. Fantasy, medieval sort of stuff. It's my vibe. I love it so much. And so when I found it, I was like, I need this in my life. So I, I was in a campaign for two years and I've, I haven't been playing for a while. I'm in a new campaign, but I'm on and off because obviously I'm very busy at the moment with uni. And it's all because of Critical Role that I am now playing an Averial elf um, in my campaign. She's a druid and oh, literally... The way Marisha plays it, so like panicking her way through playing it, is me playing Alaria, which is my character. And um, if you want to see what she looks like, this is what my character looks like. She's very beautiful. She's very cool. She's got a cool backstory. Maybe I'll go into it one day. Um, but we are going to jump in and react to this whole series that is coming out through the past, not past, the next couple of weeks. I'm so excited. So three episodes a week. That's pretty sick. I like this sort of format that they're going with. Very much like the arcane thing that they did. Um, so... Yeah, I'm super excited. This has got so many stars that I've grown up with in terms of video games and the voice acting industry. Like, I am so excited for this. And I've heard good things. I'm so sorry that this reaction is late. Obviously, I'm reacting it on a Monday. I've, again, you, as you guys know, if some of you have watched my videos, I'm very busy at the moment with uni. I'm graduating and just getting all my assignments in and I need to get it graded before I get graduated. So, yeah, I'm trying to balance everything out as much as possible. So today we're going to re be reacting to the first three episodes of The Legend of Vox Machina. I'm super excited. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Stand together <laughs> to face this evil. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so much violence! I love it already. The death dealers are all dead. Then find someone worthy! <laughs> nice. Ah, yay! Let's keep things civil, friend. We're not looking Oh, Vax! <laughs> Had a crush on him when he was around the first campaign. Oh! Oh yeah, oh my god. Oh my god! I love Pike's design. He's so pretty. My god, I'm loving this already. Lady Kima, it is imperative Lord and Lady Briar would join us. Sire, oh. Allow me to give you a proper introduction. Oh, music. Your excellence tried the best fighters who have ventured far and wide. But I promise that you've never met a troop so qualified. And as for myself, <laughs> <laughs> Very well. You're hired, Vox Machina. 
Oh, yes. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Wow. Are you a wizard? <laughs> nah. The magic's all in the fingers, kid. Wow. <laughs> now it's in yours. Oh, Max. He's my favorite. Sorry, try not to spoil things, but they're cute. Just saying. <laughs> By the way, just for info, I cannot remember for the life of me majority of the beginning of campaign one. Um, so I'm literally going into this as blind as everybody else because I haven't watched any of the trailers. I've just wanted to look at it like just fresh and clean without any reacting to the trailers or anything. I just wanted to watch it. Um, so yeah. I'm coming into this as blind as everybody else, but I do know, obviously, story details and stuff. Oh! Oh, Jesus! That's a dragon! Oh my god! Come on, Kiki. Did I just make it worse? Oh, yeah, that's happened as a druid. I've done that before, too. I've made things worse. The second I thought the episode was going to end, I was going to be super mad. Oh! <gasps> oh, thank the Lord. I thought it might have been the hand that um, Grog had. Oh. You're hurt. Oh, Jesus. It's not about the council or the contract. It's about these people. They need us. We can't just run away. When Vax and I were young, one of those monsters killed our mother. Oh, oh yeah. I don't understand, Percy. I felt it there, too, at the palace. You're just telling us this now? I'm sorry. I... Are you sure, Vax? I am. I know what I felt. Oh. Someone on the council must have been in contact with the dragon or... Oh, Pike. Oh, Grog! No, gang, don't do that. The world needs you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she was protecting the children. <gasps> Please, Everlight. Let your power reach him. I can't do it. I'm still too weak from before. Oh no. What the hell are you doing, Scanlan? Thinking of a rhyme for Dead Dragon? I'm in. Oh. I'm with you. Coming <laughs> in as well. Realize we're going to die a truly horrible death. Perhaps, sister. But we'll die gloriously. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh! Yay! So good! Oh, this is fantastic already! What a great opening episode! And especially for people who are coming in blind, this is particularly well done. The writing for this is obviously introducing this group of mercenaries who are pretty shitty at what they do. And, you know, they don't have the best of intentions, obviously, but at the heart of it, they care for people. And obviously by that ending, it's very, like, it's right there in your face. So well done and so beautifully written. That was so good. And just, again, like, an introduction episode. Like, this can be very hard to do, but this was so well paced. The action was incredible. And it's just... Oh, it was so, so good. Um, it reminded me of so many shows that I grew up with when I was younger, especially, for example, um, Del Toro Quest. I'm not sure if anybody else has watched that, but Del Toro Quest was very prevalent in my life as a young kid. And this reminded me heavily of Del Toro Quest, especially that fight. Whew, that was great. And 
again, like, uh, oh, the memories are flowing back of how much I love these characters. Because um, I haven't, a lot of people went back and rewatched every single episode of Campaign 1. I got no time for that. Um, so, <laughs> I, coming back into this, I, I love it. It's a great introduction, and... I think this is like it. Oh, I just can't explain it. It's just so well done, and it feels so new, refreshing, and it even takes this sort of like this animated style to a whole new level. Because even with, for example, Arcane and Into the Spider Verse and stuff, it's becoming more like prevalent for adults and showing that adults are allowed to love animations and stuff. Because even I remember turning like. I remember 13, this happened twice in my life, when I was 13 years old and when I was 21 years old. But two different women in my life who said, oh, you're going to stop watching animations now, right? You're going to stop watching cartoons and grow up. Heck to the no, am I doing that? Are you kidding me? Um, so I love how this is not afraid to be, you know, it's not afraid of the swearing, it's not afraid of the gore, it's not afraid of nudity or any of that. It's just... It's, it's there, and it's got these beautiful themes behind it, you know, it's very, like, at the same time, it's still got these beautiful moments of, like, familiarity in terms of the themes, like, family, and wanting to sort of help people, and it's just beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, because I want to go into the next episode already, so I'm gonna end it here, um, as usual. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video. Keep your comments down below, and tell me what you think of the first episode. But yeah, I'm gonna just run straight through to the next episode, because I'm so excited. So, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl, out.